Gregory Dorr, you come from Australia, a country which is really pioneering in hepatitis C elimination. How come that Australia is a pioneer today in hepatitis C elimination? Look, I think there are a few key things that Australia has done right. The first thing is that the government is very involved. And I think we've had government leadership and we've had strategic development by the government for many years, in fact, since the early 2000s. And I think you really do need government leadership. And they were very much looking at this as a broad public health problem that was solvable. So I think the second thing is to, to believe that there is a solution and to believe that you can achieve what seem like very ambitious elimination targets. Infectious diseases doesn't have many on the list of infections that have been eliminated globally. So hepatitis C is something that feasibly can be eliminated, certainly in a country like Australia with a, a public health framework. And thirdly, I think, the important involvement of community-based organisations, both drug user organisations and hepatitis organisations, their advocacy has been absolutely essential for moving things forward uh, in Australia. You heard a lot about the situation in, in Switzerland today. Is this now the advice for Switzerland or do you have any other advice for us? Look, I think the first thing is not to be too hard on yourself. I think Switzerland is doing a lot of things right. So I think the development of a specific hepatitis C strategy is really important, so you have that in place. I think the fact that you now have unrestricted access to direct acting antiviral therapy is also really important. But there are a few other key things that I think could be done. One of them is along the lines of the Australian model is to get more people involved in prescribing these new therapies. We have more than half of the patients that are now treated for hepatitis C that have their prescriptions written by general practitioners. So that's been a very deliberate strategy by the Australian government to get GPs involved and a very important education training sort of initiative to upskill general practitioners in hepatitis C treatment. And the thing that I always sort of talk about in terms of trying to get more people involved is how empowering it is for healthcare professional to be involved in treating a chronic disease like hepatitis C where almost every time you write a prescription, you cure someone of a chronic disease with a treatment that is two to three months long, that has limited, if any, side effects attached to it. There are not many areas of, uh, sort of clinical medicine or public health that have that as the equation to a solution. So I think getting more prescribers involved is really, really crucial. The other thing I think is to even have a strongest integration of hepatitis C into harm reduction services. The one thing that Switzerland's known for is a very, very strong harm reduction sort of framework and foundation. So you have lots of things that are going right in terms of harm reduction and in broader drug user health. So if you can integrate more hepatitis C services into those harm reduction services, including opioid substitution treatment sort of clinics, including the needle and syringe programs, um, including the you know, consumption rooms. They're the sort of settings that are absolutely ideal for interfacing with the key affected population. And I think you have the opportunity. Thank you.